Well, they were, they really had to enlarge their audience. It was very, I think, very academic. And it was talking heads most of the time. And they wanted to enlarge themselves. So they thought they should do, I think they began having a, a science show and they did some art and so forth. And they asked me if I'd like to do a cooking show, a segment. So I said, fine. And fortunately, they picked young Russell Morash, who was then just 27 years old, and he'd been doing the science show. And there was a Ruth Lockwood who had been doing the Mrs. Roosevelt shows, and they were both available. And so we decided to do three shows and do things that would catch the general public that were well known. We decided on French onion soup and Coco vin or, or Buff Bourguignon, I don't remember which. And but we but these were pilot programs. The these were pilot programs. Just to see the... Just to see whether there really was a response. And I just want to establish that uh, Russell uh, was the producer of that. Mm -hmm. right? He was the producer. And Ruth, Ruth Lockwood was the associate producer. And for my, my personal director, we, he was the overall, and she and I worked out the details together. And, then and she was very good. She, she really had a feeling for, for television and also humor. And so we worked, worked out these three shows. We decided, as you said, you have to go on with a bang and you can't go out with a whipper. And, and there were easy shows to do. And it, and we we did them down in, in Boston, which was hard to get to and hard to park. But we had to bring everything in, that we had and bring it down into the, the basement of a like what kind of a place it was. I guess it was a gas company or something. Um, and we just started in. I had done. Lots of demonstrations, so I, that, that, that didn't bother me. And luckily, and the camera didn't bother me. Some people get awfully conscious of it, but I was only conscious. I think if you just pay attention to what you're doing, and you're not conscious of anything else. We didn't have an overhead mirror. I don't know how we showed things. I guess tipped them. And. Those were shown in, in midsummer. I remember it was very hot here, and we showed the first one down and out in our garden. We had fans going. <laughs> and it turned out that we did indeed, there was indeed an audience, because at that point, people were interested in cooking. And that was before there were two family members working so that women had time to cook. And people really were cooking at home a lot. And it, it went over really very well. Well, the Kennedys were in the White House then, and they had their wonderful French chef, René Verdun. Everything they did was news. And when they did then, food, of course, then became news. And at that point, too, you could get over to Europe by plane in a few hours rather than spending five or six days. So. Really, the time was ripe, and so we got on at exactly the right point. Of, if it had been earlier, it wouldn't have gone over, because we wouldn't, the Americans wouldn't have been going abroad. So we, we were just very lucky, just hitting it right. And they decided that that it was worthwhile. So, but it was still experimental. So the first thirteen shows shows were done on old tape. And they were just shown locally, and then I think it was, might have been Pittsburgh decided they'd like to do them, so they borrowed the tapes, and then San Francisco borrowed them, and then, and finally New York did, and we felt we had arrived. And so the, the first, the first thirteen shows don't even exist anymore. Really? Well, the tape, I guess, the tape must have worn out. It was the French Chef, and we decided to call it the French Chef because it would fit in one line in the TV guide. 
And if I had hoped also at that point that we'd get some real French chefs to come in, which of course we never did. But it was about French, classical French cooking. And it was entirely classical French cooking, which was which I'm glad it was. And we then those went over well, so we so we did thirteen more. <laughs>